In the last video, I went over the six major elements of the takeoff that you can see listed here. So if you haven't already, please check that out first. So when you have watched that, we can now look at some drills to help you learn and improve the takeoff. Now, before we jump into the takeoff drills, there is one important safety item that I want to address. This will be the first time that vaulters will be leaving the ground with a pole. So I want to emphasize what should be the number one goal of every vault, and that is this. The goal of every vault is to get the pole past vertical. On every vault, the coach should be confident that the vaulter will get the pole past vertical. And on every vault, the vaulter should be confident that they will get the pole past vertical. The reason this is so important is because getting the pole past vertical means that the vaulter will be landing where they should. So if the coach or the vaulter is not confident that the pole will get past vertical, then there should not be a vault until the required changes are made so that both are confident of this. The first takeoff drill is the jump up drill. In the previous video, I mentioned the following three keys to a good jump up at takeoff. The takeoff step should be under the hips, the takeoff step should accelerate into the ground, and the posture of the vaulter should be tall. And those three keys are good, but in that video, I think I might have slightly overemphasized how far back the foot should be under the hips. Now to the vaulter, it will feel like the takeoff foot is under the hips, as a coach, you'll probably find that you are cueing vaulters to get their takeoff foot more under their hips because they're typically one are going to want to reach it out in front of them. But in reality, the ideal location for the takeoff foot to strike the ground will still be out in front of the hips like Claire's is here. And you can look at any professional vaulter and this is about where their takeoff foot is going to strike the ground. Uh, Mondo strikes the ground with his takeoff foot maybe a little further back than anybody else I've ever seen, but it's still out in front of the hips. So here Claire and Libby will demonstrate the four-step jumping drill that we do to help vaulters start to get the feel for jumping up at takeoff. And again, we're looking for the takeoff step to not be too far in front of the hips, for the takeoff step to accelerate into the ground, for the posture of the vaulter to be tall, and for the takeoff foot to strike the ground flat, so not heel first or toe first. Now when it comes to jumping up at takeoff, you will hear some people talk about the penultimate step and about lowering the hips and about having a long stride into a short stride. Uh, but for the pole vault anyways, I think discussion on that topic can easily be overdone. I find that just cueing vaulters that the takeoff stride will be a little bit shorter and quicker than the others, such that it feels like the step is under the hips, uh, is usually enough to get the job done without overcomplicating things. So once the vaulter gets the idea of jumping up off the ground to take off, they can then add the pole and the plant. Here Claire and Libby will demonstrate the four-step jump up drill with the pole and plant. While doing this, they will still be working on the very same jump up cues, just adding the pole plant. Now since the plant will be added here, you'll want to make sure that the timing of the plant arm movements match up correctly with the steps. And you can go back to the video on plant for a review on that if you're not sure. Also, please note that this should be done on a smooth surface to ensure that the pole tip will slide across the ground. The third drill I have vaulters do to practice takeoff is the sand vault, or in this case, the turf vault. And within this category of drills, there's a progression that I typically use. To start off with, athletes will now be leaving the ground. So the first thing that needs to be done is to determine the correct pole grip. Once that's done, the first turf vault is a two-step with overhead carry. The second is a four step with plant. The third is a six step with plant. And if needed, I will use a platform takeoff as well. Here Claire will demonstrate how to obtain the correct starting pole grip for turf faults. She'll start with a pole alongside her, reach up as high as she can, go up two more grips, and then that's where she'll place her top hand. Here Claire and Libby will demonstrate the turf vault with two steps and an overhead carry. I start with this configuration to ease vaulters into the drill progression. The two steps keeps things slow and the overhead carry keeps things simple. Claire will now complete this drill while I mention some of the things to look for. Things to look for include a tall plant, the pole tip hitting the ground just before takeoff, jumping up off the ground, driving the knee up, having a long and firm body position, keeping the takeoff leg straight and back, pushing the pole forward, keeping the hips facing forward, 
and swinging from a straight top arm. Libby will now complete this drill while I mention some of the problems that I often see. Problems I often see are the pole tip hitting the ground at the wrong time, planting with a bent top arm, pulling up with the top arm, a constricted tight body position, hips turning towards the pole, and veering off to the side while swinging from the pole. Now, if you don't have any of those problems and everything is looking good like it is here for Libby, then vaulters can go up in grip an inch at a time as long as they're still getting good pull speed. Next in the progression is to add the plant to the drill. Here Claire and Libby will demonstrate the turf ball with four steps and the plant. Things to look for here are the same as with the last drill, except that now you need to make sure that the timing of the plant arm movements match up correctly with the steps. And again, you can go back to the video on plants for a review of that if needed. And last in the progression is to bump the run up to six steps. Here Claire and Libby will demonstrate that. Things to look for here are again the same, but the additional speed from the six steps allows for a higher grip, which allows the vaulter to feel the takeoff and swing a little better. I mentioned a few moments ago that there are a few errors that I often see new vaulters make when completing these drills. So if you've given them several cues to correct the issues and they're still not quite getting it, you can try the platform takeoff drill. This drill slows things down a bit and omits the run so the vaulter can more easily focus on the correction that they need to make. Now, the 24 inch platform that you see Claire and Libby use here is a little taller than you'd probably wanna start with. Something in the foot range would probably be better. And you can lower the vaulter's grip and move the pole tip closer to the platform so that the vaulter doesn't need to jump at all, but simply step off the platform. Once the vaulter is comfortable with the turf vault drill variations and doing them correctly, they can move to the pole vault pit. A few points to note though, before taking that first run down the runway. And the first is this, jumping into the pit for the first time is very intimidating for most vaulters. So begin by acknowledging this for them so they don't think they're being wimps and let them know they should not let this slow their run down. Second, this will be the first time vaulters will be landing in the pit feet first, so let them know that they should be mindful not to roll their ankles. Third, it's very helpful to place a measuring tape along the runway so vaulters know where to start the run from and how to adjust it. This measuring tape should be measured from the top back of the box. And lastly, mark the five foot, six foot, seven foot, eight foot takeoff locations with chalk or tape to make it easier for you to check their step. Here Claire will demonstrate a takeoff drill into the pit. I start vaulters on this drill with four steps and an overhead pole carry to keep things simple. You'll want to move their grip up eight inches from where it was during the turf vaults in order to account for the drop in the box. And now that we have a box, you're also going to want to look for the pole tip landing in the slope portion of the box and sliding to the back. Continue to look for the same element you did during the turf vault. So a tall plant, jumping up, driving the knee up, a long and firm body position, keeping the takeoff leg straight, pushing the pole forward, keeping the hips facing forward, and swinging from a straight top arm. A few other things to look for and cue the vaulter for include pushing the pole into the pit, staying behind the pole, and putting a little pressure on the bottom arm to make some space between the pole and the vaulter. Now you can continue to move the vaulter's grip up about an inch at a time, as long as the pole speed is good and they're getting into the pit good. Also keep an eye on the vaulter step because as their confidence grows, their speed will increase and their step will start to move under. So when you start to see that happen, you wanna move back to keep their step in the right location. And just like with the turf vaults, uh, once everything's looking good, uh, you can add the plant and add additional steps to their run. This video has been a production of the Shiawassee Vault Club, and we really hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Until then, have fun, be confident, and vault high.